Court TV has been busted manipulating evidence while shilling for a certain Aquaman starlet. They're taking evidence that is over two minutes long, they're providing extreme close-ups of it, and they're trying to give you a narrative that simply didn't happen. Moreover, they continue with this lie by omission. The article didn't actually name Depp, but that isn't stopping him from suing her for $50 million in the state of Virginia. Essentially promoting a narrative that not only benefits that certain Aquaman starlet, but is one they tried to use in a courtroom, it got shut down by a judge, and if they did any research whatsoever, they would know this is 100% true. Now, this, it shouldn't surprise anyone either. I mean, after all, places like Deadline, who shill for that certain Aquaman starlet, and for Warner Brothers hard, they're also telling you, tune in to Court TV, ignore everything out there, and you and I, we're going to talk about that today. Ah, fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you were doing excellently. And before we cover this, and I did invite Court TV to the party, by the way. You can see where I did that on Twitter. It is getting a lot of attention. They couldn't ignore it. They have to know it's there. But before we get started, check out and back our project. It's live right now. Link is in the description. We need your help. I mean, this this is how we counter all of those companies out there. We stay sponsor-free, beholden to no one. We don't have to be like these people and beg for things. We, we do it ourselves. You help us out with that. We appreciate that. Thank you. So Court TV is like so many other mainstream networks out there. People used to think that they love them. Notice I said used to think they love them, but then they had other options that popped up. People, they started tuning out in droves. Well, these places, they're going broke. They desperately need cash and viewership infusions. And guess how they think they're going to get it? They think they're going to get it from JD versus that certain Aquaman starlet. Here's the thing, too. They desperately, and I do mean desperately, need this to work out. And they know they need that as well. I mean, if you look at their Twitter profile, look at the banner here. They replaced advertisements for their channel with advertisements for this case. And if you want to understand just how badly they need this to succeed, well, look at other cases that they're trying to talk about. Here's something that they posted 16 hours ago. 30-second video. Look at how much attention it got. 8 likes and 827 views. When you compare that with the amount of traffic they get on this one post alone, 18,700 views, that's 22.6 times more than their average, plus they're getting a lot of attention and likes quote tweets, retweets, and on. Now, the problem with this isn't the views. To note, I mean, hey, you're covering one of the biggest trials ever. You're going to get views. The thing is that these places, they never, ever change. They've been promoting a narrative since day one. Their buddies, like Deadline, they've been reporting it too, and you can see it flagrantly right here. I'm going to play this for you. I want you to think about what this is trying to tell you. I'm going to play it with sound, and then we're going to play it without. Have you drunk this whole thing this morning? Oh, you got this going. Oh, really? Really? Front and center at trial was... So I want to play this for you again. This time, I'm going to turn this down to one-fourth speed so you can really see what they're trying to project with this. I'm going to turn off the sound as well. And you tell me, if you didn't know anything about this at all, if you had never seen this before, what would you think is transpiring here? Look at this. I mean, you have him. He's here. He's drinking. They talked about him drinking in that. He turns around to her, you know, and he says, Hey, you know, what are you doing with this? What's going on? You can barely see her hand in frame there. She's pointing out that he's been drinking. He moves in, and well, you have all of this commotion. It looks like something is going on physically. Again, what kind of message do you think this sends to the common person out there? Now, if you're asking why exactly is that a problem, that umbrella guy, well, I would give you the short answer of saying things, they didn't happen that way. And the long answer is, well, things, they didn't bleepin' happen that way. Not at all. 
First and foremost, that's around five to six seconds of footage they provided. And if you look at the video right here, this is a video that was provided to the court. This came up in UK 2020. That's where they got that footage from. You notice this, it isn't a few seconds long. This is actually two minutes plus long. Also, if you look at the frame right here in front of you, you'll notice something that differs from what they showed. This isn't blurry. Why isn't it blurry? Because it's not zoomed in so far. And the reason that they zoomed it in is because they wanted to give you a narrative that quite simply, it didn't take place. So initially, I had this entire two-minute video playing, but wouldn't you know it, another shill media network came in and claimed it, TMZ. See, apparently, they bought this footage entirely before UK 2020. They redacted it, put out a minute and a half. Basically, they put together their own fake evidence, but now they won't let anyone else put this out there. So I'm going to explain this to you in still photographs. At first, you have that certain Aquaman starlet come in. They're setting up a camera. You can see they're hiding it to the best of their ability. They'll do this throughout. You have JD. He's going to end up coming in here. Again, you notice she's blocking, trying to make sure he doesn't see anything whatsoever. He's going to get a glass. He's angry about something. While he's doing this, you have that certain Aquaman starlet using this mousy voice. You know, she knows she's being taped. She knows she wants to come off and give a good impression, but instead, it looks so, so fake. Now, he's annoyed here. He ends up slamming this. I'm not sure if anything else gets damaged over there. You don't see it, though. You can hear this prominently getting slammed before he goes in. He gets himself a glass. Then he comes over here and gets himself a drink. Now, you'll notice she tries to block this to the best of her ability. But J.D., he sees it. He is not thrilled about this either. So he grabs the camera, not the person. That is a very big distinction. He walks this camera around for a minute. He probably throws it to the ground because he's so annoyed about this. And he leaves because he does not want to deal with this. Now, at the very end, that certain Aquaman starlet decides to laugh about the entire ordeal. They think this is funny. They tried to gaslight him, tried to catch him in something. They wanted to use this stuff as evidence. Yeah, not exactly the video that you just saw, is it? Now, the other thing that I mentioned at the beginning, the lie by omission of JD. Oh, he was never mentioning this stuff at all, but still he's suing. That's supposed to sculpt a narrative, making it sound like he admitted to something, plus it's letting her off the hook. She tried that before, too. The judge, he burned that idea down, and then afterwards, these emails came out. These are between co-conspirator organization, the ACLU, that certain Aquaman starlet, where they're plotting to make J.D. the face of, I'm going to say, V against women. You can see all of that being discussed here. And along with that, we got to see early drafts of that article. Now listen to this early draft portion. Quote, Then two years ago, after I got a temporary restraining order against my then-husband, I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. The day I left the courtroom and walked into a pack of hundreds of photographers, I didn't have a team of bodyguards. My lawyer used their own bodies to block out space for me to walk to my car. The whole way there, I heard the press yelling the same question in one form or another. Is it true that you're making all of this up? Now, the organization, they tell her, you got to take Take out marriage, you got to take out divorce, restraining order, and on. So, she definitely named him in this. That was the entire intention. But, in order for her to carry this forward, she had to skirt around the marriage. She had to get around the non-disclosure agreement she was bound with. Yeah, again, lie by omission. They would know this, too, had they paid attention. And, well... All of this, it comes up in the first 20 seconds. Now, to end this, I want to say check out and back our project. It is live right now on Indiegogo. Link is in the description. Hours remaining. You see that right there? And we are sending a loud message to all those companies that didn't want to listen to you. They wanted to treat you like trash. Well, Warner, that money could have been yours, baby, but it's not. Check it out, though. Back it, too. Thank you for that as well. 
Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Ending here. Thank you again. See you soon.